Welcome back, it's FNUS57 here. Today I am back on Fallout 76 on the Xbox One, and I will be showing you how to complete the weekly challenges. This is for the week starting on uh, January 22nd, 2019. And for this set of weekly challenges, you have four easily completed challenges and one that could be very easy but is currently glitched. It might be fixed later, but it is not working for me. So you have take photos on government property. This is very simple to do. Destroy assorted robots, deal critical hits to enemies, complete events or quests while in a group, and pick flowers. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get all of these. The first one we'll cover is take photos on government property. The only tricky one is take a photo in the White Springs bunker. For this, you need to literally go to White Springs, go to the bunker, and go inside. Then take a photo. Uh, you also could do take a photo at Camp McClintlock, take a photo at the Charleston Capitol building. Uh, I chose not to do those because they just weren't close to me. Take a photo at the Federal Disposal Field. Take a photo at Missile Silo Alpha. Take a photo at Missile Silo Bravo. Take a photo at Missile Silo Charlie. I did those, and I will show you where they are on the map. So they're basically all in the central part of the map. I started up here, and I went to site Bravo first. Took a picture. Then I came down... And I went to site Alpha, took a picture. Then I fast traveled over here to the White Springs bunker, went inside, took a picture. Fast traveled down here to site Charlie, took a picture. And then I fast traveled here to the scenic overlook and walked over to Federal Disposal Field HZ-21, which is a workshop if uh, you guys don't know that already so you can't fast travel to it unless you own it that's how i did those i will show you the photos that i took i saved them just so that you guys can see this is the photo i took of the one inside white springs bunker basically just walked in the back entrance and that was it uh, i don't need that photo this is the photo from outside the one missile silo uh, this is Silo Alpha. And this is the photo from outside Silo Bravo. You do not have to go into the silo. Just literally walk up to the door. And this is the photo right next to the elevator inside Silo Charlie. And then this is the photo right next to the claim bench at the Federal Disposal Field, the uh, HD-21. Those are all the photos for that particular challenge. An extremely easy 30 atom challenge. Next up is destroy assorted robots. You have to do five different ones. I chose to do destroy an assault tron. Um, you could destroy iBots, but those are a little harder to find. Destroy liberators. Destroy Mr. Handy or Mr. Gutsy robots. Destroy protectrons and destroy a sentry bot. You could also then do destroy turrets or destroy a vertibot. So there's many solutions for that. The reason why I did the ones that I did is because they are the easiest and basically can all be done in one spot. So again, you're going to want to go to White Springs, to the main area of White Springs. And now by shooting those bots, you will cause all of the White Springs bots to turn hostile. So do keep that in mind if you're not high enough level or you don't have a good weapon. You might want to look elsewhere for the Protectrons, but those are easy to do. The reason why I came to White Springs is because there's a Sentry Bot there. There's Protectrons there, which they're called White Springs Doormen. Those are still counted as Protectrons. And then there's White Springs Gardeners, which are counted as Mr. Handys. Plus there's Assault Trons, so you can literally take care of all four types or four out of five types in one spot and then i went up here to vault 76 because there's level one liberator robots that spawn right kind of just a hair southwest ish of vault 76 and i got all of the robots that i needed to do 
there. So that's how I did that one extremely easily. You also have deal critical hits to enemies. Now, in my previous weekly challenge guide, I explained how this weekly challenge had to be done with a ballistic weapon targeting the enemy's weak point. They did change that for this weekly quest or this weekly Atom challenge. Now it's just critical hit, period. So you use VATs, and as you hit enemies in VATs, it b fills up the critical hit meter. When that critical hit meter is full, you use VATs to target an enemy, press Y to use the critical. It does not matter what body part of the enemy you target, and it does not matter what weapon or even if you're just punching enemies. It works in power armor. It works with any weapon for this weekly's challenge. So that one's extremely easy to get. You can do it in the process of destroying the assorted robots. Uh, then you have complete events or quests while in a group. For that, all you need to do is invite another player to your team and make sure that you're in a group while you complete events. I would recommend doing the easy events, uh, things like the messenger or... Uh, let's see if there's one up down here. If you're a member of the Enclave, you can do the Enclave events. Like uh, you'll see dropped connection and stuff like that. Also, you could farm it by taking over one of the workshops and then completing the quest to take over the workshop, completing the event to defend the workshop. And you can kind of farm the defense events by taking over multiple workshops. You only need at least one other person in the team. So that's really easy to do. Now for the one that's worth the arguably almost the most, could be the easiest, but is the worst, is pick flower zero of eight. Now what that means is there's a sub menu and you have all these different types of flowers, ash roses, blood leaf, carrot flowers, fever blossoms, fern flowers, gourd flowers, uh, rhododendron, flowers, strangler blooms, soot flowers, tato flowers, thistle blooms, and all of this. For some reason, my progress, even though it says that I have 10 out of 10 gourd flowers, it still says zero of eight flowers picked. And the rhododendron ones will not go up past seven, even though I picked a ton of them in white springs. Uh, strangler blooms i have no idea how i got that i think i got that as a quest reward but it won't go up past that because you can get them in the swamp soot flowers will not go up past five and the rest of them i cannot get to register like the ash roses the blood leaf the carrot flowers i literally cannot get those to register any progress for me uh, I might be the only one that's experiencing a glitch with this. Let me know if it does work for you. But I will show you some spots that you can go ahead and go to to pick these flowers or to pick some of these flower types. And if it works for you, great, free atoms. Uh, hopefully they might fix it a little bit later on in the week. I know one of the other challenges a couple weeks back was glitched and you could not make progress towards it. So... I'm hoping that they'll fix it. There is a flower spawn point right here next to my base. Rhododendron flowers you can get a ton of in White Springs, like just outside and around the White Springs grounds. Plus there's also soot flowers that spawn here. And I just picked up one, so let me go ahead and look at the map and see if they did fix this because I've been trying for the past four hours to get it to work. Unfortunately, it did not work for me. And as you can see, soot flowers still says 5 out of 10. So it has not gone up on that. But basically on the map, what you want to do is search in this forested area or right around Flatwoods in this area. You will find all of the rhododendron and soot flower that you need. If you follow this river down and then up towards the... Uh, Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm, you'll find all of the blood leaf that you need. And if you go to White Springs around this back area, kind of in the mountain range behind where the golf club is, you will find carrot flower, a ton of rhododendrons around here. The fever blossoms, I'm not 100% sure on. You can also find the toxic soot flowers. 
but it did not matter for me where I went. Uh, fern flowers, I found a few down in Cranberry Bog. Again, it did not matter what I picked up. The challenge simply will not update for me. I have four aster flowers. I have 12 blood leaf. I have, uh, excuse the random bubble gum sitting there. I have 18 carrot flowers. I have glowing resin, which is not part of that challenge, but I literally picked up everything to try and get it to register. Like I picked up 80 rhododendron flowers from White Springs, 16 soot flowers. Uh, and then of course, some of them have already spoiled already, but I picked up all of this and it will not make progress on the actual challenge. So unfortunately, that challenge for me, as I just demonstrated, is currently glitched. Now, for anyone else, it might work. I've told you how to do it and shown you where to go. So go ahead and try it. Let me know if it does work for you, because I'm curious if that's just a bug for me or if the challenge is bugged out. It's entirely possible the challenge is bugged out, but it might also be one that's specific to me. I also tried just for the shits and giggles of it. I tried harvesting these plants that I have planted here, my potatoes, mutt fruit and corn, but they do not count towards the challenge because they are not considered flowers. They're the actual fruit. But like we can look right there, pick some more rhododendrons to add to the collection and then go to the challenge again, still zero of eight, no progress on any of the flowers. Like it, it still says soot flowers, five rhododendron seven. Uh, it says I have the gourd flowers done. So I don't know what this challenge is tracking. It, it's obviously not tracking correctly, which is a shame because I would have loved the atoms because I'm almost out of the other challenges. All the daily challenges are completed. I'm almost out of character and survival challenges, and I have very few combat challenges remaining before I will have no challenges left to earn atoms from, which is kind of sad because my social challenges are done and most of my world challenges and everything are done as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of why I have uh, 7,070 atoms from farming these challenges. But hopefully the video helped. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment. I will do my best to help you guys out and answer any questions that you have. If the video was helpful, do me a favor and leave a like on it. Share it with your friends as that greatly helps me out in the searchability of videos here on YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe for more content. So until next time, Stay frosty.